Hi, this is Mr. Wedge, and last time we played around with the art element of space. And my one of my most favorite ways to use space is one point perspective. And if you remember, one point perspective just means putting a dot on the horizon line, and then any line that goes into the picture needs to point toward that dot, and it's an illusion. And uh, some really smart people back in the Renaissance discovered that. But it's, uh, it's something that happens all the time. Even in the room you're in right now, if you look around, you might be able to see some perspective happening. There's no dot, right? That's an imaginary thing. There's no real dot. But in one point perspective, and in real life, it looks like everything, every straight line that's going away from you is pointing to one spot. So when people discovered that, they could put a dot and then they could line up a straight edge and it would always look like it was 3D. So we did a 3D road last time using one point perspective. We're gonna do it again, but we're gonna do it on a bigger piece of paper. And this time you have to include an object. And it doesn't have to be it, it does have to be outside, but it, just because you did a road last time, you don't have to do a road this time. I think I'll do a sidewalk this time. So, uh, got to start with your, well, you got to start with your name. I was going to say Horizon. <laughs> got to have your name on there and your class code. Bigger piece of paper. We're going to paint on this eventually, but line up your ruler with the top. You know, you don't want your horizon like that, but it doesn't have to be right up it can't be right up at the top you want it's a landscape we're outdoors we want to be able to see the sky and the ground so put the horizon somewhere in there but all the interesting stuff in a one point perspective is usually on the ground so it makes sense to put the horizon up high just make sure it's lined up with the top of your paper and like i said today we're going to put an object in there too so i'm going to start with my sidewalk so i'll put it over here because my object is going to be a house. So I'm going to do the sidewalk, which is flat on the ground. The sides go away from me. They go into the picture, so they're going to point to the vanishing point. So I'm going to draw the edges of the sidewalk, just like this. So it's going to look like we're walking down a sidewalk. There's the two sides. And maybe I can see, well, I wouldn't be able to see the curb, actually. It'd be over there somewhere. Well, I'll just pretend. So, oh, but maybe there's like a um, parking meter or something. Mm, there we go, parking meter. And notice I drew it vertically. So vertical never changes, it's always up and down. And if there's another parking meter, it's gonna be farther away. It's also gonna be a little smaller, but it's still gonna be vertical. Another parking meter, it's going to get shorter, closer together, but it's still going to be up and down. Vertical never changes, and actually horizontal never changes if it's facing you. But horizontal, if it's going away from you, it's got to go, you know, pretend it's like going away from you. Or toward you, it's the same thing. Well, then we're pretending we're going into the picture, so it has to point to the vanishing point. And those are the rules. And if you get that, you can do anything. So I feel like sidewalks, you know, they have, they're split up into, I forget what they call these things. They put these cracks in the sidewalk so that if the sidewalk ever breaks because of a tree root or something, it'll break on these lines. Anywho, eh, these are just gonna get closer and closer together and they'll disappear, so it doesn't really matter. But there we go, there's a sidewalk. Uh, but I'm gonna put my house over on this side. So, here's how you draw an object in one point perspective. You start with the front of it. So the front of the house that faces me, it's gonna be flat and then the sides are gonna be vertical and the horizontal foundation or the steps or the whatever, the bottom of the house is gonna be horizontal, the sides are vertical and the roof is gonna be like a triangle. And the front of it is flat and it's facing us so it never changes. So you can just draw a house like you would in kindergarten. Doo -dee doo doo. I'm in kindergarten and I'm drawing a house. And there's a box and a dot. And I connect 
da da to the corners with my ruler. I'm in kindergarten. This is where we're going to switch over to fifth grade because this is the front of the house, right? Vertical, horizontal, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, diagonal, but that's just because it's a roof. Um, whatever. But think about it. If, if we're looking at, if we're standing on this sidewalk, we're not just going to see the front of the house. We're in a 3D world now. So we're going to see the side of the house too, and probably the roof over here, the shingles and stuff. So that means we would see the bottom of the wall, right, over here. We'd see the top of the wall, and we'd see the very top of the roof too. We'd see all those edges. So there's three lines that we would see. And if you think about it, this is closer than this would be, right? Just like this is closer than this is. This part right here is closer to us than this is. That means that this is going away from us. That means it has to point to the vanishing point. We're using one point perspective. There's only one point. So if I'm going to draw the edge of the house going away from me, I have to line my ruler up with the vanishing point. So I'm going to line this part of the ruler up with the vanishing point, this part of the ruler up with the corner of the house, and I'm going to draw just the bottom of my house. There it is. This, do, this looks really strange right now, but it'll look very real in a second. You just have to remember the rules and stick to them. So, there's the bottom of my house. It's going away from me, so it has to point to the vanishing point. This uh, edge of the house is vertical. Vertical never changes. So, this is going to be vertical too. But I don't know how tall to make it, so I'm going to use a construction line. And that just means a really light line that I can erase later. Do you see it? There's a line right there, but I didn't push down super hard. So I'm just going to use that line. I know the top of the wall is going away from me, that top edge, it's going away because this is closer than that would be. So that means that, that edge is going to be receding. So it's going to point to the vanishing point. So I need to line that corner up with that vanishing point, but it's, it's an object. So this object isn't going on for miles and miles like the sidewalk is. It's only going to go on for like maybe, ten, you know, 20 or 30 feet and then it's going to stop. And it's going to stop when we get to that construction line that we drew. So there we go. So now I know how tall to make this line because I see where it touches so I can make that darker and then I can erase this part. So that's how you do that. The roof little bit trickier, but not much if you get the rules. So the rules are the top edge of the roof is a receding line. It's going away from me. It's going into the picture because this corner of the house would be closer to me than that corner. This, this is the front of the house. This is the back of the house. So this would point to the vanishing point too. But it's not a 20 mile long house. It's just like a normal house. So I'm going to draw this line toward the uh, vanishing point, but I used a construction line. It's a, just a very faint light line. I'm not pushing down very hard. And that's because I don't know how long to make it. Now what do you do over here? Do you draw it like straight up or what's the angle? Well, do you see that angle? That angle, all you have to do is just slide it over and just use the same angle and go up and touch your construction line. And then I know how long to make this edge of the roof. And then I can erase this. So vertical lines, they never change. Vertical is straight up in the air. It never changes. If it's facing you and it's flat and it's horizontal, then those never change. They're going to be lined up with the top and bottom of your paper. Those never change. If it's going into the picture or it's going, going toward you or it's going away from you, it's got to point to that one dot. It doesn't mean it has to touch it, because if it's an object, it's, mo it's smaller. It's not a flat thing that goes on forever. But all those lines and all those edges that are straight and go away, they've got to point to that one dot. But it doesn't mean they have to touch them. These lines don't touch the dot, they just point to it. And that's how Vincent Van Gogh did the bed in his bedroom painting that's so famous. And don't worry, you can add other stuff. You know, I always add mountains. If we're outside and we can see really far, you always see like the hills and stuff. 
So, um, but like I said, if you get these rules, you can do all kinds of things. It doesn't have to be a road, but put an object in there. It doesn't have to be a house though. Here's one, I did a railroad at night with a train station. And, you know, vertical, vertical, going away from me. So I point it to the vanishing point. This is an angle, right? Because it's the top of the roof. So I just made sure that this lined up with that. And trees are always vertical. They always point straight up to the sky. So it never changes. This is horizontal and it's flat and it's facing me. So that lines up with these. But these are going away from me. So they point to the vanishing point. This edge of the uh, platform is going away, so it's got a point to the vanishing point. So you can do whatever you want, as long as you've got some path that's going away from you, and you're using one point perspective, and you've got some object in there too. Uh, it could be really simple, it could be really crazy, it's up to you. Here's like this futuristic thing with the alien and a giant W, I don't know. The point is, if you know the rules, you can do anything. So work hard, have fun.